Good day, people of the internet. My name is Aristog, and this is Guild Wars 2 Basics, and for this episode, we're going to be talking about your contacts panel and mail. So, let's start right off the bat with contacts. To get to your contact section, you can either press this little icon up here that is a couple people, or the Y key. So, in here, you can see what your character name is that you chose when you created your account with the four digits at the end. And you're opened automatically into the friends tab. This is where you can put your friends and then you can assign them uh, nicknames as well. So if you hover over these, you can actually uh, set nicknames and then it changes it when you see them in-game. You can just type in a character name, I think. Yeah, you can either type in your character's actual name or this name thing here. Uh, you can see these friends when you're in a guild, so... Yep, that's the wrong one. So an example would be in here, in this guild... You can see all these people with their grayed out names. So if I head over to my own personal guild, all of these people are my friends and their names are white. And just to show you the comparison between them, and this person is now my friend and as you see here, there's the gray names and then a white name that shows that this person is my friend. Next is the looking for group tab. This is very important when you're trying to do various tasks around the world. I'm going to go over each of these little sections. They're fairly self-explanatory, and there is a term you should be aware of when using this. It's called PUGging, or just PUG, P-U-G. It's an um, acronym for Pickup Group. Just thought you guys should know that. So, first tab is Living World, which is the open world content. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different things, like chest farming, bring shovels, yada yada yada. There's all kinds of things here. You can post in here, I need help with a jumping puzzle, and then someone will help you if they have time. Uh, next are dungeons. This is where you can go into each dungeon and actually set up groups. So, like, I am right now in the Plains of Ashford over here, which has a dungeon in it. And that would be Ascalon Catacombs. So I can look for a dungeon group, join it, and then I can enter that dungeon with those people. You can only join a group of people in the dungeon when you're in that zone. So, while I'm here in um, Plains of Ashford, I can go into Ascalon Catacombs whenever the group is ready. But I cannot go into Sorrow's Embrace, which is over in um, the Shiver Peaks. I have to actually travel to... If I want to get into Sorrow's Embrace, I have to travel all the way over here to the Dreadnought Cliffs to actually get into the dungeon. Um, oh, also you can see here, for the dungeons, it says the name of it and then the levels. So like story, recommended level 30, and then explorable 35, and then you can look at these for all these dungeons. You should be able to look at them no, ma look at them no matter what your level is. So now we have Fractals of the Mist. This is sort of a mini dungeon that is in Lion's Arch that is just, you get three random dungeons and then a random boss fight. Personal story, you can just get people to help you out with various personal story instances. Uh, player versus player, you can look for people in ranked and unranked arena. And world versus world, you can look for groups that are of your server. So, I am on Emery Bay, so I can only find people in this looking for group tab that are looking for group that are in Emery Bay. Another feature, another tab here, is the follower tab. Oh, actually, first that. Uh, to advertise your party, you don't have to be in the party. You can be just by yourself like I am right now. Then you just type in the description. You can put in a language option. And then advertise your party. And the description can be as long as you want. If you've been seeing some of these, some of them are short, some of them are long. And that's how that goes. Next is the followers tab. This is, shows you who is following you. That is, people who are... I think how it works is it's like the friends tab, but it's seeing who considers you a friend, like who's following you, sees when you're on. And then there's the blocked tab. The blocked tab is where you can move people if they've been... if they're, like, harassing you or whatever. I'm not quite sure what that does. I don't... I think that prevents you from getting in parties with them and most likely not receiving messages from them, either mail or chat-wise. Actually, let me actually see what Blocked actually does. Oh, okay. So, Blocked is actually 
makes it so anyone in this list sees you as offline all the time, and you won't be able to see any messages from them in slash say, slash map, slash whisper, guild chat, party chat, team chat, squad chat, in-game mail, or emotes. So that's what blocking does. And up in the corner, there is this little symbol that allows you to be invisible, away, or online. If you're invisible, you won't see anyone whispering you or a couple other chats that I'm not quite sure of. And it's just a helpful way for people to know what you're doing, like what your status is. Okay, moving on to mail. So in the mail, you get various things. So there's story instances, as you can see here. These are from living story stuff and personal story. We have a couple heart stuff. You can no longer get these from completing heart, renowned hearts, but you can still get these for, like this one says, uh, exploring all of a zone. So if I explored all of Ashford Abbey, when I explore all of Ashford Abbey, no, Plains of Ashford, I will give one of these mails saying, yay, you've done this from the Cheerian Explorer Society. You're also alerted when your character's birthday is, and then you'll get some rewards in the mail. This is also where you can get some items from uh, Black Lion or uh, messages from a reading net for various things. I can't think of one off the top of my head. You can also get messages from actual players. You can only have 10 player messages in your inventory at once. So as in, I've got 5 messages from actual players. I can only have 10 available at one time. You can delete items. Well, you can delete mail down here. Down here you can re reply, return to sender if there's items, and also report them for various activities. And you should note here, when a player sends you it, sends you mail, this little note will be at the bottom saying this message was sent by another player. It was not sent by the Guild Wars 2 team. Do be aware of that, there's been a couple scams going around where people send you in-game mail and then you have to use the URL in the mail to actually verify your account. Don't do it. It's ha It's a hacker. I know this from first-hand experience. It's not fun. And to actually compose mail, you need to say who's going to. So you can choose a player name. So when you type in names, it will automatically start correcting to whatever the name's closest to. So like, my friend here, F. Kurtz, or however he pronounces it. I start typing it in. And then it starts auto-correcting. But if it was something a little more complex, it will, well, it will just start auto-correcting the more things you, the more letters and numbers you put into it. Uh, then you can put the subject here. As you see by some of these, you don't need to have a subject for the mail. Type in your message, but it only goes so far. Okay, as you see here, you can only have so many characters. I'm currently holding down the P button. It's not going any further. You can only have so many characters in a message. You can send items through mail. Items that are not, not account bound. So like this blue dagger I can send. I can send runes somewhere. If I have all this set up. And I press clear. It clears the whole uh, message. Which means you'll have to start over. So do be careful if you do that. Then down here you can choose what kind of mail carrier. Actually brings to the person. And then when you're ready to send the message. You just press send. Also, when you're typing out messages and say you need to check back in an old one, like, oh, what did he say? Okay, then you can, when you press compose again, the message is still there. So you don't have to worry about just staying on this one page. So that's it for this episode of Guild Wars 2 Basics. Join me next time when we talk about guilds. Until then, hit like, subscribe, hit me up on the Twitters and the comments below, and have a day.